Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how you can use Python to export data to an Excel file. I will be showing you how you can export a single set of data to a specific sheet within Excel and creating a new Excel file and then also how to specify the sheet name for it. I will also be showing you how you can export multiple data sets into multiple sheets within the same Excel file. And I will also be showing you how you can do little other things here and there, such as replacing blank values with a value and how to specify where you want the exported data to sit in within the sheet. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is import the pandas module by typing in import pandas and giving it the alias PD this time. So wherever, wherever we mention PD, we are calling the pandas module. Below that, you can probably see the numpy module and that will come into play later on, but we'll gloss over that for now and we'll come back to it a bit later. So for now, let's go straight to the next bit after that, um, which is creating a set of data which we can play with. In this case, I've created a dictionary um, with a small dictionary with uh, some values in it. And I've given up the variable data set one. And within this dictionary or this data set, we've got name, ID and comment. Names here are Fred, George, Sarah. ID are randomly generated numbers as strings and comments, just a few comments here. So hello, analyst rising, subscribe. And it's always useful to have a print check. So you just print to make sure that we haven't mistyped anything, um, put something as we shouldn't and it just doesn't run. So best to find it out now rather than later. And as you can see here, the output does seem to work correctly. It does seem to produce the, the correct data that we've got in there. So no error messages have appeared. All seems to be working fine. After we've done the print check, we can then move on to creating our data frame. So here we have typed in PD, calling our pandas module dot data frame with a capital D and capital F. And then in brackets, we've got a data set one. And what that will do is that will convert this dictionary into a pandas data frame. It won't do anything on the front, but in the back end, conversion and things have happened. And we give that the variable df1. So now when we print df1, we should be seeing a data frame here, like that. So it has displayed it a bit differently, um, but it's still the same data we saw above. Nothing much else has changed. Uh, let me actually just raise it up a bit so you can see better. So here we had our data set one up here and we've now got it as a data frame down here. Cool. So now the print checks have worked. We can now, and we've got our data, we can now finally export it to an Excel. And this is the main line here. So if we type in df one dot two underscore Excel, that calls our pandas data frame that we've created, which is df1 in this case. We've now we're calling the two underscore Excel function. And within there, we've created, and within some brackets, we've created a file name along with the extension here, which is .xlsx. So the file name we're going to be using is data underscore testing, and the extension is .xlsx. So now what we can do is we can run that and we should have a new file appearing on the left here. And now if we run that, you see there with data set underscore testing, we can right click, go to reveal in file explorer. I'm using VS code. It's a very useful functionality there. And we can go into data set underscore testing and we can see the data here. So notice there's a nice match there. Just gonna get rid of that. So we have our data here that matches our data here in all cases. Something else I want you to point out is down here we have sheet one as our sheet name. And the next thing we're going to do is change that sheet name. So let's just get rid of that. And we can change the sheet name by very simply going into our line where we export it to an Excel, typing comma sheet name, sheet underscore name equals, and then we can specify sheet name. So this time, time I'm going to call it data, data set one. Save it, rerun it, 
go into it, open it, and you should see here we have dataset one as our dataset here. So that's how we can rename the sheets that we're using within our Excel document using Python. Notice we haven't even touched the Excel document here. The only thing we're doing is touching our Python script. And the only way we're touching the Excel document is by opening it. Opening it. I just want to pause right there just to say that please do subscribe to my channel and do follow me on Twitch, uh, on YouTube as well, and take a look out for me on TikTok and other channels in the future. So that's one data set into one sheet. What if you want to do multiple data sets into multiple sheets into the same document? Well, firstly, we need to create a second data set. So we can just do that here. I'm just going to type in to be very quick like this. So we've got, we need to bring in our second data set first. It's another dictionary like this. And this time we've got, I've called it data set two. And instead of name, ID, comment, we've got country, city, and occurrences. Uh, and then country is UK, Australia, Italy. City is London, Sydney, Rome, and occurrences is five, two, three. Um, could be anything. How many times you've traveled there? But what matters here is you've got a second data set to play with. And similar to the first data set, except this time I called it DF2 and I've referred it to the second data set as data set two. Nothing much has happened there. But the change now happens down here. So to write things to an Excel, what you have going on in the background is you have something called an Excel writer and you have some like an engine that sort of converts all this data into an Excel document. So there's lots of things happen in the back end in order for it to convert to an Excel document. You can't simply put DF2 to Excel um, here because what it will do as like a second line, even with a different sheet name, because what it will do is it will read the first line and then export to an Excel. And then, and then it will read the second line. And what the second line will do is overwrite the first line, overwrite this Excel file. So it basically discards that information and writes that information instead. That's why that won't work here. So what you need to do is you need to, in this case is we've got a with statement and what we've got here is instead of this line here, we're bringing in an, an Excel writer here. So with PD calling a pandas module dot Excel writer here, we've got data testing dot Excel as X. Uh, we'll leave our index equals false just for now. And then we put as writer and then we make, make sure we get rid of this line here. We put and then we, then we can put our lines in below. So before we had df.2 underscore Excel and then the name of the file and then the sheet name, we can now do df to Excel, get rid of the file name because we specified it in the with, with statement. Instead, put in writer and then specify the sheet name. And now we can run it like this. And then we can go into our file here. And notice here we've got two different sheets here at the bottom. We've got data set one and data set two. Cool. So that's how you write to multiple, multiple data sets into the same file. And you can keep going with this. So this is very scalable. You can do DF3, DF4, DF5. Okay, so right, so cool. Forth. So let's so imagine reverse you had this lots now, of data above. And we're going to go back to Excel our file. single data set. Um, all sort so of funneling bear with me for place. a second. We're just going to hash out this DF for that. It works out the second well. data set. Bring it back to how it was before. Doing our DF1 like this. Specifying the sheet name. data set underscore testing dot x and that's like make sure you put in the extension name that is very important cool 
and then we can delete this cool like that so now we've gone back we've reversed it we can get rid of this data set here and we've gone back to having our just our one data set that we're working with and then one thing I want to show you very quickly is if we bring in a third data set like this we're going to replace it now with data set one cool and we're also going to bring in our numpy module here import numpy as np and we're now going to refer this to a data set three because this is called data set three it's the same within the data city country occurrences but this time what i've done is i have um, got some blanks here so we've got uh, np nan np nan here with our strings and with our numbers here and we are going to run this so that ran pretty well but what you will see is there's some missing information so if we open it you'll see here there's there's nan here because we put nan as a string and there's also missing information here so i just want to show you these two different use cases here so you see that nan nan and we've got this blank here so what we can do now is firstly let me just do one thing before we go into error corrections is if we get we can specify where we want the output to start because notice they all started in the top left every time we exported it and you may not want it to start in the top left so what we can do here is we can specify the starting row and the starting column of the export so the starting is the start of the top left cell of the data set within the excel document so here we're going to start on row two and we're going to start on column two so if we run this like so we go reveal in fire explorer again go to here we can see here that it started a bit in before it started up here now it's starting in here nice okay so now we we specify the starting position and an ending position remember the positions start at zero not at one so you may see it as three in but it's zero one two not just one two just to point that out nice so before we had missing values and you can get rid of the missing values by typing in na rep and then in this case we just put missing value just to make it extra clear like so we can rerun it reveal in fire explorer go into here and notice here we have missing value like so one thing i do want to point out and i deliberately did this is that the nan the nan here that we had in our second column stayed as nan because you put that as a string it wasn't blank so this this na rep helps with, with blank values it doesn't help with funny values or odd values that you probably would want to exclude as well and you'd have to find other ways to manage that and there definitely are many other ways to do that so that's it for this tutorial on exporting to Excel. I've shown you how you can use one data set to export to Excel, how you can export multiple data sets into, as multiple sheets into the same Excel document. And I've also how you, showed you how to um, complete and fill in blank values and so you don't have to start the export in the top left every time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe and share to anyone who you feel may benefit from this and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.